There's a problem with this show stage. And that would be... Oh. Right. <laughs> I think I can sort that out. Okay, sorry for the very weird intro. We are going to painting the show stage. Um, so, first I'm going to do is get the banner and do that. Oh, you're going to need white spirit. I don't have any at the moment, so I'm not going to be using my enamels. You need various acrylic paints. I'll get the course together and then I'll uh, show you what you need. I'll show you which ones you need. But you need acrylic paints. You need um, cotton buds. Various brushes of different sizes, so various ones like this for doing lots of brushing. You need, uh, where the heck has the pen gone? There it is. You need a pen and preferably a piece of cardboard to act as a ruler. We're going to be doing a lot of line work on here, so let's get straight to it. Let's take a closer look. Some of the paint does chip off. You've got these locking points here for Freddy and Chica's feet. Bonnie's is not in there at the moment. That will be something you can I can add in a bit. You obviously don't have to do it. I chose to do it. I, I personally don't recommend doing it. It does kind of damage the look of it. But, uh, the walls have this nice checkered pattern, very similar to the McFarlane Toys build set, which is what this was very heavily inspired by. <sighs> now you can see that these are two different shades of grey. have got the security camera here. Which I don't think I've... Painted. No, I missed a bit of paint there. It's incredibly difficult to see. It's this is it from the back. Pretty simple. You could, uh, if you wanted to, mount something here and drill some holes and have a sound playing out. Or you could have an animatronic stood here, like they're doing behind the scenes work. Or if you really wanted to, you could lay your wizard guys there. Again, if you totally wanted to. Uh, the underside is really simple. It's literally just a bunch of cardboard with a box. Uh, pretty simple, but I, I really like the way this turned out. This is a nice, this is a gorgeous looking piece, I think. Um, uh, again, if you want to make some five minutes of ready stickers or just decorate it up, uh, go ahead. In fact, you don't even have to paint it like I did. You could do whatever you want with it. Uh, completely do whatever you want with it. Um, so if you wanted to make it look like a load of pizza or cheese has been thrown in the walls, just slather a load of yellow and uh, red paint and stuff with cheese and tomato sauce. Um, I do want to warn you, this will not work with 7-inch figures. Here is an upcoming figure I need to review. It's my 7-inch Raziel from the Soul Reaver. He's just really seen me for double joints. It's not going to work for him. Because he'd be coming up to the ceiling. Uh, he is about a 9-inch tall figure. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, Chica's nearly not half the size of him. He, he just won't work. I think he's about maybe eight and a half inches tall. I don't know. But he's got double joints. That's what makes him longer. Uh, he's double jointed on his knees and elbows. But yeah, for Chica and all that, it's really simple. The feet just kind of wedge in there. And uh, I'm going to try and do this one under. This is going to be either going to go horribly wrong or... Not great. Oh, it's actually turning out all right. Don't want to jinx it though. I can't really pose figures of one on, but hey, this will be a first. Uh, yeah, uh, let me cut here and I'll show you it's like with some figures posed on. So yeah, here we go. Now I have temporarily assembled Ballora. Um, she will look a little bit when she's painted. This leg here is really, but this is what I mean. The joint can swivel and go out to the side. And the biceps can now turn, but this is her stage. We have Funtime Freddy. Unfortunately, Bonnie's ear, the little bonbon's ear is broke off. So he's got temporary demon horns, but they'll be painted like real horns. I mean, ears, sorry. Um, you have Freddy there. Chica with her cupcake. Might make her head a little bit bigger, actually. Uh, Funtime Freddy's just there performing. Phantom Fox is having a sit down. Withered Bunny has fallen asleep. Mangle's just... Being mangle. Foxy's just waving. Fans, Nightmare Fredbear is on the arcade machine. And Springchap. Springchap is dabbing. I know one of my friends is going to kill me. Because he hates to dab. And then you can just take this. 
Let it ride on. And there you go. See, this is what it's meant for. This is what this diorama and these figures are meant for. Displaying like this. Obviously, they have their own little bits. Like, the, uh, you could say that you could argue the arcade cabinet is a mini diorama piece. But the show stage is definitely a diorama piece. Um, obviously, Ballora is not standing on her tiptoes like she should be. The clay, the clay is not yet hardened. I mean, you want to know how I... I can still move the, the skirt. So, once that's dried, it'll be getting painted and reviewed as soon as possible. But, yeah, this is it, really. This is the show stage. This is how you're supposed to display it with your figures. Heck, if you made one, you could probably use the Funko figures as well. Um, in fact, I'd recommend that. <clears throat> also, here's a 7-inch figure. Uh, you, actually, it can work with 7-inch figures. I've just realised that, but since it's 5 minutes at Freddy's, it ain't gonna work. Uh, you could say that's an adult, maybe. I don't know, we'll even though Frost is an adult. But this guy here, this is a big... That's a bit, that's an 8 inch mannequin, so that is, that's actually got an extension on the feet. So, uh, yeah, Captain Alexi here is my, uh, he's a zombie cyborg type character. Yeah, he's, he's got his brain exposed. Yeah, he's another thing I need to finish. Uh, I've got pretty much all, most of them sculpted. Um, what is on there? Where's his other arm? Where is his other arm? Oh, God, I'll find it. I'll find it some more time. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't matter. His arm's going to connect on with a skinny joint like that and kind of look all decrepit and ripped apart. But yeah, I'll. Um, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed looking at the show stage with me and painting. I hope you enjoyed painting it as well if you built one. And uh, heck, if you have Instagram, uh, go follow me at Archangel underscore T9000. And uh, if you've got your Instagram and you build a show stage, send me pictures and I'll uh, tell you what I think. If I say it needs improving, I'll tell you. If I think it's flipping brilliant, I'll tell you it's flipping brilliant. Don't worry, guys. If I give you some advice, I'll, if, if I think something's up wrong with it, I'll just give you advice on how you can rectify it. I'm not, I'm not a guy who just goes hating on people's things for no good reason. I have, you know, good reasons, but I'm not going to hate on them. I'm just going to say, well, perhaps maybe you could work on this and, you know, work on that and maybe make this a little bit taller and whatnot. But yeah, um, I will advise you if you're going to build it watched my previous video of the building tutorial it helps out a bunch i literally built it right in front of you guys and it took me hours to put it together but i managed to compile some of the most of the footage into it a 40 odd minute video yeah 40 odd minutes is still long but still please watch it it'll greatly help you building this thing it'll, it'll show you all the materials all the components you need all the equipment and everything thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace